As good as Gordon. There are many unique engines on Sir Topham Hatt's railway, and one of them is Emily. She has a single set of big driving wheels, which is very different from the other engines. This is because she is an old fashioned engine, but to hear Emily talk, you would think this was so for quite a different reason. I have a single set of driving wheels because I'm an elegant engine, she explained. The most elegant engines in history are single wheelers like me. So you say, grunted Gordon. Looks outdated to me. Emily was offended. Outdated, she spluttered. I'll have you know I can pull coaches just as well as any newer engine. You couldn't pull the express, though, not with those big wheels. You'd slip to a standstill before even leaving the station, chuckled Gordon. This made Emily crosser still. How about I pull the express tomorrow, then? I'll prove it. I'll be as good as you. Ooh, Gordon, she huffed. It's settled, then, said Gordon. I could use a rest and a laugh. Emily erupted in a cloud of steam and hooshed angrily into her shed. Next morning, Emily fussed into the station, determined to prove Gordon wrong. Duck had already shunted the train, and Gordon watched from a siding. The coaches were Gordon's usual ones, but they were far cry from the light, wooden ones, elegant engines pulled in their heyday. I'll show that pompous blue sausage what I can do, Emily thought to herself. She backed up to the coaches and was soon coupled on. The guard blew his whistle, and Emily started with a streak of her whistle, and the slipping of wheels. Gordon smiled, watching Emily's wheel spin as she started the train at a snail's pace. Get moving! Get moving! grunted Emily, trying to grip the rails. The driver dropped sand on the rails, and at last Emily's wheel stopped slipping. She steamed away from the station. Slowly. Emily gradually gathered speed, but she couldn't go as fast as Gordon. She tried and tried, but she didn't match his speed. Come along, come along, she barked. We're coming along, we're coming along, grumbled the coaches. You must pull harder. Emily wanted to, but her driver said, Easy, old girl, you don't want to strain yourself. This made Emily even more determined. As good as Gordon, as good as Gordon, she puffed. At last, Emily arrived at Edward's station. What time do you call this, eh? complained Bertie when he saw her. I came as quickly as I could, she wheezed. Well, it wasn't quick enough, snapped Bertie, and he sped away. Stupid bus, muttered Emily under her breath. Then, she realized what station she'd stopped at. Oh no, this means... We'll have to tackle the hill while starting again, interrupted the driver. Emily groaned. Her old wheels were winded already, but now she had the worst part of the line to worry about. Soon, it was time to start again. The signal dropped, and Emily started with a will. The driver dropped plenty of sand, and she gripped with all her might to get the train moving as fast as she could for the hill. Emily charged towards the slope. Keep it up, Emily, called the driver. You can do it. Emily began to climb the hill. She felt the weight of the coaches slowing her down. As good as Gordon, as good as Gordon, she puffed in desperation as she tried to press forward. But it did little good. Her wheels began to slip, and she ground to a halt. The fireman built up steam to start again, but each time Emily's wheels wouldn't grip, she was stuck on the hill. There's nothing else for it, sighed the driver. We'll have to call for help. And so they did. The guard went back to the station and returned with Edward to help push the train up the hill. How embarrassing, she blushed. Gordon will never let me forget this. Once over the hill, Emily steamed on to the end of the line with no further trouble for the rest of the journey. But trouble did come again when she got back to the shed. As good as me indeed, guffawed Go Orden. I told you so. Those oversized wheels are no match for mine. Emily said nothing. She just sulked in silence. There's one thing you did do as good as Gordon today, Emily, said Edward. Emily perked up. What's that? Getting stuck on the hill, chuckled Edward. Gordon has done it more times than I can count. 
Gordon went a deep shade of red with embarrassment while everyone laughed. That made Emily feel just a bit better.